Hey guys, uh, welcome to the fourth tutorial of data structures and uh, so far we have seen three tutorials which consist of the types of data structures, linear, non-linear and the next level, the linear which is divided into list ADT, stack ADT and QADT and again the next level, the list ADT which has been divided, implemented in array implementation as well as in linked list implementation and in this tutorial we are going to see how to insert a new node in a singly linked list okay and before we go to the topic and if you haven't subscribed the channel please subscribe like the video if you like it and uh, share the video to everyone okay and today's concept is insertion process in a singly linked list okay uh, in singly linked list we can insert the node a new node in three positions which are in beginning in between and at the end suppose this is the given link for us or given list for us <coughs> the list consists of two values 20 and 30 we have two members inside the list okay and how to consider or how to predict that this is the beginning of the list and this is the end of the list that is by means of head and null now what is head head is a label which indicates the starting of the list and null indicates that it is the end of the list <coughs> for example the label header consists of the value of the first or address of the first node which is 550 so if we want to traverse or travel through the entire node or entire list what we have to do is we have to look for the header label so header label consists of the first value 550 which is the memory address so the first address goes to the first value so first value consists of a node with two segments which is singly linked list in singly linked list the nodes consist of two segments which are the first one is the value and second one is the address of the next node okay <coughs> now <coughs> sorry the first node consists of the value 20 and the next address consists of the value 1000 so we have to look for the next value in the memory address 1000 so the memory address 1000 consists of the value 30 and there is no next value which indicates that this is the end of the list so our link list starts from header moves through 20 and ends at the value 30 so this is our given list now suppose in this list if I want to add a new node what should I do or what is the procedure that I have to follow first we have to create a new node a new node in programming language is being created with the help of a structure where a structure consists of two segments or two entities with the value and the next address okay so after creating a structure we have to create the node uh, <coughs> the node has been created and the value has been extracted from the user now after creating a node how are we going to insert in our desired position now in this process the insertion can be done at the beginning or in between or at the end in this video we are going to see how to insert a new node in between okay <coughs> now let's assume 25 the value 25 this node there is a new node and we are going to insert the new node in the position 2 so far we have the header which is at the 0 and the position 1 is 20 and position 2 is 30 so we are going to insert the value 25 in between 20 and 30 so we will be having three values 20 25 and 30 so the position which we are going to insert the new node is called as the uh, i'm sorry uh, the position is 2 second position for insertion process, process what are the parameters required are x p and l where x stands for the value which has to be inserted p is the position in which we are going to insert and then l is the list in which we are going to insert the value new value okay now how to find the desired position in which position we have to insert suppose for example if our list consists of four values or five values and the node which we have to insert is three then we have to follow these two steps in order to reach that goal state okay similarly in this list if you want to insert in the second position okay the for loop starts as header file i mean so the for, the for loop starts at the header label okay for i is equal to head i less than p i less than p means our position is 2 in this case so i less than p indicates that i is can i can be maximum equal to 1 okay so the first position one okay i plus plus so until this position what we are doing is p is equal to the next value of p 
which indicates that initially we are indicating the header file as p okay the first condition satisfies and the first loop what happens is the value of p changes to the next value so the new value of p is equal to the next value of old p so this value is being erased p is equal to p's next value okay at this case we are satisfied okay the next loop doesn't exist because i less than p where the value moves on to 2 and it does not follow okay so i less than p the loop exists and comes to outside of the loop okay so in this list <coughs> we have decided the position value okay now what we have to do is we have to insert the new node to the next node of p it's very simple we just have to follow these three steps okay so what we have to do to find the position is we have to find the using this for loop and p is equal to p, p of next line we can come to the desired position and in order to insert the new node we have to follow these three simple steps which are number one new nodes element is equal to x x is a value which has been received from the user so new nodes element is equal to x which is 25 the first step is over okay then the next step new nodes next element so this area is over now we are going to the next one so new nodes next element so where does this next indicates so this indicates new nodes next is equal to p's next value so p's next is already a value available at the memory address 1000 so we are assigning this 30 to this node's next node for example a is equal to 25 where we are assigning the right hand side 25 to the left hand side a similarly <coughs> new nodes next node is a new value so we are going to assign something to this node so new nodes next node is equal to p's next node already we have a p's next node so this node has been assigned to the next value of the new node which is like this at this stage the node 1000 or the, or the node in the memory address 1000 consists of two links the one from p and one from the new node now what are we going to do next step P's next node is equal to new node. So, so far P's next node is already 1000 or 30. Right. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to cancel or we are going to cut this link and then we are going to create the new link. So, P's next, P's next value, this is a new value, is equal to new node. So, new node has been assigned to P's next value. Clear? And listen carefully we have to specifically write the coding in this order because we are assign we are assigning the old value of p of next to the new value new nodes next value if suppose we swap these two lines we first perform p's next is equal to new node and then we include this line means it finds an infinite loop or there is a breakage in the list okay so we have to perform these three operations in this three link in this order specifically okay <coughs> so now an uh, overview so in data structures in singly linked list the insertion process consists of three segments where we can insert at the beginning insert at the end and insert in between okay now <coughs> for insertion we have insertion in between we have to know the uh, position of which we have to insert the new node so using this for loop we are finding the desired position and after finding the desired position what we are doing is we are using these three steps to insert the new node inside the list which is first we are finding the value of the node and second one is the new node's next value the new node's next value is old p's next value okay so we are creating this new link and then p's next value is equal to new node so p's next is already 30 so we are cutting it and creating as a new node p's next is equal to new node okay so with this the list gets completed so it starts from header move on to 20 it comes through 25 and ends at 30 okay so we have so easily inserted a new node in a list using link, link list implementation okay and uh, that's it for today in this tutorial and in next tutorial we can see the insertion and deletion uh, so insertion process at the beginning and at the end and before see, we see in the next tutorial uh, please like subscribe our channel and until then it's Karthikeyan signing off.